The main function of a filter is to remove ripples or AC component of the rectified output. There are different types of filters which are available like capacitor filter, pipe filter etc. And we will be studying about capacitor filter in this lecture. Now capacitor filter is the simplest of all types of filters. It offers low reactance path to AC components and high reactance path to DC components which means that this capacitor will block DC and will allow only AC to pass through it. Now we will study about the working of a capacitor filter. As you can see in the figure, the capacitor is parallel to the resistor. There are two waveforms which are available here. Input waveform is shown in blue and the output waveform is shown in green. Input waveform is the output of the bridge rectifier and this is the output of the capacitor filter. The capacitor filter will charge towards the maximum value of the input. So that is shown over here. As the input rises, the capacitor will also charge toward that value. Now when the input falls, what happens is that the capacitor will start to discharge because now the capacitor cannot charge anymore. So the capacitor will slowly start to discharge through this path that is through the resistor. So the charging path is from the rectifier to the capacitor and discharging path is from the capacitor towards the resistor. The capacitor will discharge till the input becomes equal to or greater than that of the value of the capacitor. Then again the capacitor will charge, discharge, charge, discharge and the cycle will continue as you can see in the figure. Now you can see that the green line is the output of the filter and the ripples have been reduced to a minimum. This was the initial waveform of the rectifier that has been now the AC waveform has been reduced and made like this. Thus the filter will reduce the ripples. Now there is a term called as ripple factor which is used to find out the amount of AC present in a waveform and it is given by this equation for a full wave rectifier or a bridge rectifier. It is given by 1 by 4 root 3 FCRL. So what does each of these terms stands for? F means frequency of the input voltage which is not changing. C is the value of the capacitor and RL is the load resistance. So you can see that when the value of the capacitor and the load resistance increases, the ripple factor is now or the AC component is going to decrease because it is inversely proportional.